Hello everyone. Welcome to Infra Experts. As you see, today is we will be seeing how we can upgrade and change parameters in your RDS, AWS RDS using Terraform. So, in here, the following configuration files will be used: 01 generic variables.tf, versions.tf, main.tf, and outputs.tf. And we will be doing this in our previous working directory where we already saw how to create RDS using Terraform. So the modifications will be made in there and the modification will only be made in the main.tf. So without wasting much time, let us go ahead to our Visual Studio code and perform this. So here we are in our Visual Studio code and this was the folder working directory which we created out of which there won't be any changes to generic variables, no changes in versions and also no changes in outputs. So the changes will be there in our main.tf. So what all changes will be doing in here? The first and foremost thing we need will be upgrading the database and also a, a parameter will be changed, right? So we'll be changing this, just this parameter for an example here the allocated storage is 5 which will be making it as 10. So before proceeding that let us go ahead and first of all create the instance again since we destroyed it in our previous session. So here we are and let us run Terraform in it. Now let's run Terraform validate and then just apply it. With auto approve. So let this be done in here and parallelly let us make the changes what we will be doing for our today's activity. So as we were proceeding as I said that allocated storage I will change in it. So let me give the allocated storage as 10 GB. Okay. Next we need to upgrade our database. So we will be upgrading it to 8.2. So this will be 8.0.20. Fine. Next, let us see what else we can change. The family. This one we need to change. The family needs to be MySQL 8.0. Fine. The option group name. This also will be changed. The option group name. Let this be MySQL 8 hyphen O hyphen option hyphen group. Fine. The major engine version. This also needs to be changed, which will be 8.0. Fine. These are fine. Also, these changes needs to be applied immediately. So for that, we need to give one more parameter. Let us see in here. Apply immediately. This is the parameter which needs to be taken. So this is it. Let me just copy it. Let me just type it in here. It's a bit difficult to copy actually. True. So is it just enough? No. We need to allow the major version upgrade. So this is the thing. This one needs to be present in there. Allow major version upgrade equals to true okay so this is it one more thing we'll be doing for some pro projects you may face some difficulties if the minor version is enabled so we need to disable them to proceed further and you can go ahead with the minor version upgrade as per your plan because applications and all those also needs to be down that's why let us disable the minor version upgrade. So this one, as you can see, auto minor version upgrade, this one defaults to true. So we'll be making this as false. Fine. This one, let me make it as false because the default is true. Now we need to wait until our resource is created. So still the resource is getting created. So let us wait until this is done. So our RDS has been created. Now let us log in in here, AWS Management Console, and just open this. 
you can see auto minor version upgrade is enabled from configuration you can see that it is of 5 gb and the version is 5.7.19 now let us do one more thing in here let us go to ec2 let us log in in there in the ec2 instance from where we will be logging into the database rds and then we will just see we will just create another database in there just for our own sake purpose mysql hyphen u infra hyphen p then the password then hyphen h the host name the endpoint so this is the endpoint let me just take it paste it in here show databases fine create database test one two three fine so we have one more database test one two three created in here now comes our this part so in here as we already modified it what all we have modified let us just see again the allocated storage the engine version the parameter group the option group the major engine version apply immediately will be applying allow major version upgrade that is true auto minor version upgrade that we are disabling it since it's enabled in our rds fine so let me just save it now so this is saved let me just go in here again and run terraform validate so it will be validating it again so my validation is fine let me just run the terraform plan so you can see in here that in the plan you can see two to add one to change and two to destroy so let us see from here what all it is adding you can see here this will be replaced the option group so this will and this one parameter group these will be replaced and this will also be changed fine the major instinct version that will be re replaced the option group will be replaced the db parameter group this one also will be re replaced okay that's why it is showing here update in place what all are getting updated in place what all are going with plus minus create replacement and then destroy so this one will create a replace and then destroy it similarly this one will create a replace and then destroy so two to add two to destroy fine and one to change so which one to change this is the one which will be changing see here the engine version it is showing like this that's why it this one also it is changing the app uh, means this module will be changed fine so in here my the resource aws db instance will be changed where the allocated storage will be changed to 10 major version upgrade to true apply immediately from false to true auto minor version upgrade from true to false engine from 5.7 to 8.2 so these are the things which will be changing now let me proceed with terraform apply with auto approve option fine and these changes will be done to our database now so this will take a long time to be done maybe around 20 to 25 minutes as you can see that the database creation it took around 16 minutes more than 16 minutes to be precise so this one also this upgrade will be taking some time to complete so you can see in here also by then till now it has not touched it so it is refreshing right now and it will give the plan after which it will be executed so right now it has created the option group the parameter group also has been created okay and right now it is upgrading the database so let me just refresh this you can see that the status is right now upgrading in parameters group you can see that this is the one which has been created mysql 8 and similarly in option groups also mysql 8 option group has been created so this will take a long time for the upgrade to get completed i will pause the video 
until the upgrade is done. In here, before pausing the video, I can I am showing you that see the database version was 5.7.19. So after upgrading, it will be 8.0.20. So let us wait and watch was the version after upgrading. So this has been around 20 minutes that the upgrade is still running. And now if you refresh it, you can see the status is modifying. So from status upgrade, the status has changed to modifying right now. So this won't be taking much more time, I believe. So let us wait until this completes. So it took around 30 minutes to complete. And after it completed, you can see here that the parameter group and the option group the older one means for 5.71 has been destroyed as you can see in here so two added one change and two destroyed so this is it right now okay and you can see the same from here just refresh it right now it is modifying and right now the status is storage optimization the if you go in here from configuration you can see the mysql engine has been changed the option group has been 8.0 the parameter group is also changed and from maintenance and backups you can see that the auto miner previously it was enabled right now it is disabled so we are fine with it now let us log into the database once and check it you can see that previously the version was 5.7 right now the version is 8.0.0 like this also you can check my bad from here also you can check current user the server version and these you can check from here let us see that the database is there or not so test one two three database is also existing so this defines that our today's experiment on upgrading your rds instance which is major version upgrade including the parameters have been done successfully so we missed this one so the storage also you can see it was 5 earlier right now it is 10 gb so the parameters you can the configuration parameters also can be changed along with the major version upgrade these things can be done through terraform i hope you have enjoyed the session thanks a lot for watching the same stay tuned please do like share and subscribe thanks a lot for watching the video